What was that? Hello, everyone. Um, I tried to think of an intro, but my brain failed me immediately. It's, it's very gray out lately, a lot of rain, very cold, fall has started. I feel like I'm the one person who doesn't really like fall all that much. I don't know, I get it. I love the aesthetic of it. Uh, the holidays are nice. It's just, um, for me, fall is the precursor to winter and I hate winter. <laughs> you know how like Sunday night is, you know, you're technically free, but the next day all your responsibilities are coming back to kick you in the ass and you're just dreading how awful it's gonna be. For me, that's what fall is. It's like, oh God. Winter is coming. It's getting darker out earlier. I can feel the cold and the snow coming. No, I guess that is fitting though because we're about to endure some blech ourselves. And I just realized these episodes take place in a tropical climate, so they're actively mocking my grief over the loss of summer. Those bitches. Anyway, last time on Dragon Ball Z, we got our fucking mythics ones. Um, they're hideous. We met Eldora. I'm pretty sure she's evil and trying to kill us, but no one is catching on because everyone has the collective IQ of a peanut. Selena is continuing to be pointless with no motivation other than boredom, which fair. And Asheron still exists. I'm not sure why. Now, let us uncover the mystery of Calavera. I'm not sure what the mystery, I don't remember there being any fucking mystery. Everything is pretty straightforward, but all right, let's do this. And again, we are on Earth because we were too lazy to come up with a world in the magical universe. I am offended by how often we're going to Earth and we're not even bringing Roxy, you know, princess of the Earth fairies. Can I just say something as the princess of Arizona? <laughs> just a thought. And these outfits are perfect for it, Stella. Okay, I don't hate the Calavera outfits, but I hate how uniform they are. And the colors are also so washed out. Mm -mm. Wait, so Daphne teleported the Winx, but the specialist took a, a hawk here? I, okay, all right. I would like us to iron out our methods of travel, please. Good God, it has been 15 episodes and travel between worlds feels so fucking willy nilly still. So good to see you, Daphne. You know what? I want happiness for Daphne, so I don't mind her and Thorin. And weirdly, they feel the most genuine of the couples this season, besides Tekna and Timmy. Which? What world is this? Oh, what wow. world? He did it! According to legend, it's where pirates hid an incredible treasure. Can someone explain to me how Daphne is just a convenient encyclopedia for all of this? Like, yeah, she was a nymph, but a nymph of Domino whose goal was protecting Domino and the dragon flame. That does not mean she's just gonna know everything about every fucking world, especially Earth, the non-magical world. Maybe a little nap. But the emerald won't be in the cave. Oh my God, Eldora is just, she just pops in and out whenever she fucking feels like it. And why? I really don't understand the vines. They, they, there's no purpose to them. They never come back. I can only interpret it as like, oh, magic is back and nature is a rude hoe. But it's like, y'all also stepped on the vines, so y'all have this coming. Watch the <laughs> Hold up, hold up. I'm just realizing this now. Is this trying to nostalgia bait the quietest carnivorous from season one? Ah! 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 I, to jail, <laughs> to jail. So what's your, what's your sentence for, for her? Electric chair. <laughs> also, the living vines are making me think of like that horror movie, The Ruins. That movie's fucked. The mere mention of Bahu Mundo Cave frightened oh. them. Thank you, Techna. I never would have been able to figure that out. That should be its own fucking counter at this point. You go. We'll stay here and look around for clues. What in the Scooby Doo? <laughs> I need a Wings Club chase scene now, like where they're all like running through a hallway of doors. <laughs> The most feared pirate ship of all the seven seas? I've heard of it. A fucking course you have, Daphne. Even after they became zombies. What in the Pirates of the Caridam being? 
I can we all agree that like this is absolutely supposed to like somehow connect to Pirates of the Caribbean, which cool. I kind of like that. That's that's new for Winx, like the vampires. Um, they just do a crap job with it. Like if we're going to do Pirates of the Caribbean, I want a full goddamn parody. OK, not all this weird beach filler. I want these girls in pirate outfits, sword fighting, befriending weird talking parrots that insult Stella. <laughs> with fog comes zombie pirates? That sounds too crazy to believe. Flashback. I'm a fairy, you know. I was trying to get to Althea Castle in the realm of magic. So oh, I... but of course. It doesn't take a genius to realize that this girl is seriously a lot. Duh. All right, you believe me now? With every legend comes a bit of truth. Oh. I, what, I feel like that was supposed to be foreshadowing, but I know that doesn't foreshadow jack shit. <laughs> Like, what? Why Stella specifically? The cave is just off a beach with a lighthouse. You mean that one? Ooh, that must be it. Congrats, Helia. You're the only one able to see shit that's just floating off in the, <laughs> in the distance. A hydroplaning platform? A catamaran with sail maximizing nav system? I just, the way that they flanderized Tecna, because she's saying the words with the most syllables and she's talking about devices no one has ever fucking heard of. Ugh. The tricks refuse to share any of their powers, making it impossible for me to help free you. Selena, we already established this like two episodes ago, and you were like, oh, I can do this with Bloom's dragon flame. If only this betrayal meant something. Like, if only there was an actual connection and relationship between Selena and the tricks to make this betrayal hit. If fucking only. The wind is a super powerful energy source with no carbon footprint. You know what? As the world burns around us and giant companies continue to ruin our fucking planet, I'm perfectly fine with all this eco-friendly stuff. We could use more of it. Our world is gonna be a burning and un uninhabitable rock within a few decades. Oh, we're so screwed. I do like morphic sails. That, that's cute. I like that. Go Aisha, we love you, we stand. Come on guys, the raft is faster and safer. Who's with me? Why is this a conflict? Oh, we love a supportive couple. I don't know why there was such a conflict though. And also like, we have so many characters right now. Do you really think they're all gonna fucking fit on the raft? First, proper swim gear. You know what? I will give it a pass. This doesn't feel very obnoxious. There's no dumb physical comedy. So congrats, season six. You get a pass for the Stella fashion. Just wish it was cuter. I will admit this kind of filler isn't all that frustrating. It's actually reading like very cute character moments they would have in the first two seasons. Well, I mean, nothing to the same level, but it's, it's reminding me of better times. Then we're ready to go. All right. <sighs> I think this is terrific, Timmy. We're gonna take this raft and we're gonna use it to get to other worlds. I just can't wait. Once we set sail, it'll be great. Both the Kingdom Hearts reference and accurate within the parameters of what can get you to another fucking world in, <laughs> in this season. Hey, Sky. <laughs> Here I come. Normally I would put all this in unnecessary dialogue, but you know what? I... I will allow it because they're having fun. I don't know why, but like up until like the fight scene at the very end, this is actually one of the more tolerable episodes of season six. Again, that will all change the second they go into the legendarium world and I will have a fucking uh, meltdown. And next takes the lead. Hey, Techno! Huh? <laughs> I love Aisha so much. Next is like, yeah, I'm in the lead and Aisha just, just takes the lead without even announcing it. She just says hi to Techno. Now we are traveling at 1.4 times the speed of the wind. I, mm, what have they done to these little doofuses? They were not nearly this fucking, oh, uh, annoying before. Although the board heads thing. <laughs> Later, board heads. That was cute. Victory is ours. Check out the aerial. Ah. <laughs> How's it look, Roy? The way they're writing them, they might as well just be a thruple. Oh my God. Roy, you look sad. But whomst of those two do you wish to be with? Behold the fucking fairy of waves we stand. I mean, out of all of them, Aisha's had the most practice with surfing, so this shouldn't be shocking. Do you guys need a hand? No, we're good, Bloom. Bye, see you soon. Okay. Uh, <laughs> love that they just fucking abandoned Techna and Timmy. Need some help? Yes. Interesting. Yeah. No, this sinks. Timmy, get out, no. 
Well, I guess it's time for Cyrenix. Ready for a little swim, Timmy? With you, always. Techna! Fairy of technology! No, wait, no. They lost Cyrenix. I... That was still such a stupid plot point. I hate that I'm remembering it like 10 or so episodes later, but ugh. The fog is rolling in. I feel like I could make a Silent Hill joke with the fog. I've been expecting you. It was foretold by gyromancy. But honestly, the fog is barely fucking visible and they don't really do anything with it, so. Hey, Timmy, how's the water? <laughs> Delightful, you should try it. <laughs> okay. Cannonball! <laughs> you know, next, you know, being very teasing has made me realize we haven't really seen Riven. Is Riven even here? I haven't noticed him. And he hasn't gotten any lines, which is weird because everyone seems to be getting at least a little bit of something to work with. Hey, Thorin, you wanna give me a hand over here? I'm still not getting that whole, like, you must go to the place in the real world, which corresponds to a place in the legendarium world. Because normally you can just go to wherever you want in the Legendarium world from anywhere with the wands. But for these items specifically, you can't? Like, what? How? how is this supposed to work? Is the Legendarium world parallel with the real world or is it not? This is the view. We are five best friends with nothing in common. Okay. If they manage to lock the Legendarium, then we're back to square one. I mean, y'all don't really seem to be relying on it that much for your conquest of the schools. Mostly you use it to fuck with the Winx, and then it fails. So would losing the Legendarium really be that big a deal? N nothing Was that second turn really necessary? Something gives. We love Darcy catching on to the trick because she is the Witch of Deception. Not that they'll do anything with it, but you know, it's something, I guess. You guys remember when the tricks had a brain? I, I miss those times. Any time now, Selena. Oh, okay, wow, well, all right. Stormy, get your ass locked in that book, rude bitch. Let me tell you the story of three powerful witches. Three ancient Oh my fucking God. So wait, are they generic? Earth witches, or are these supposed to be the ancestral witches? In which case, why don't they look like the ancestral witches? It's so basic. And the fact that the tricks don't change their outfits with this power up in the legendarium world, it's like, what? I wish Eldora was here to send us off. I don't. Did somebody <gasps> say my name? Oh, for fuck's sake, Bloom. Is she just always listening, waiting for the opportune moment to pop in and, you know, annoy everyone? I'm telling you, there's something shady about this old fairy godmother. She up to something. She always watching. My little Danusias are thirsty today. Thirsty for the lives and blood of the innocent. Eldora just has like a fucking gross ass meat garden. If you've listened to Magnus Archives, you know. You know. <laughs> Magic Winks! Mythics! All right, everyone. It's time for ugly CGI. I will say I really do like the opening vocalizing for the Mythic song, but the rest of it is... Nah. Like, it's leagues better than the Blue Mix song, don't get me wrong, but that's not really hard to do. <laughs> Honestly, if I gotta be real, the Butterflix song is better than both the Blue Mix and Mythic songs, and that's just sad. Like, Alessia's vocals just are not doing it. I'm not really a fan of the beat or the melody. It feels so generic. Again, I really prefer the prototype by Elisa. A lot of people said that the prototype for Mythic sounds a lot like Harmonix. I can hear it a bit. However, that's a good thing. <laughs> that, that's a good thing. The Harmonix song deserves its flowers. Look at season six, getting me so goddamn bored I get off topic so easily. I'm going to take a wild guess and say this is the Occulta. I would agree with that observation, Misa. Well done. Oh, that water looks awful. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my Lord, I don't like this. Mm-mm. Again, it's like this weird blurring between cartoon and realism, and it's just not working. Like, pick one. Are you cartoon or are you trying to be photorealistic? Pick one. Pick one. Because if you try to have both, it's horrifying. God, I wish the Legendarium world was 2D. It would look so pretty. Ah! Time to <gasps> walk the flower girl. 
Can we just all agree that out of all the forms, Mythic's got the worst debut? Mythic's his first time showing off in a fight, and they're getting their asses kicked. It's also such a fucking slow, boring fight. The characters are so floaty and have like no momentum or weight. Everything takes ages to do. Oh my god, I'm so fucking bored. I'm gonna get you, Bloom! <laughs> I'd like to see you try! Like, what am I watching? Ruby Volume 5? Actually, you know what? At least with Winx, even in the worst seasons, they at least pretend things are happening, and I can appreciate that. Those darts are attracted to heat! I will admit that was a smart thing on Bloom's part. It's rare I get to say that nowadays. God, they look so weird. But we have our new stronger mythics powers. Two seconds later gets fucking slammed into a wall. We've got our new mythics powers. <laughs> <laughs> By a jelly tornado. A gel nado. Please no one make that a movie. Please don't. How do you lose sight of I like what? The ship is not that large. <gasps> Why did it take you so long to warn Musa? And why are you not helping her? Does Techno just want Musa to die? Poor Musa. Like, no mythic spells, and also she gets her ass kicked so much. What the fuck? Oh, especially, like, out of all of them, I would say Musa's mythics is probably the least offensive to the eyes. I like her pigtails. I love her shoes. I really like her dress and wings. The mythic's wings are actually really great. I love them. Except Flora's. I, I don't know what to tell you. There's something about Flora's mythic's wings I just hate. Are these really the same wings of the first three seasons? Because they would have fucking wrecked the tricks by this point. Mythics is just so underwhelming. If anything, it feels like they got weaker. It feels like they keep getting weaker with their new forms now. So much for an afternoon at the beach. So much for a Pirates of the Caribbean inspired adventure for a couple episodes. We were robbed. Can you? I would just like to say... This idea of like a Pirates of the Caribbean adventure over the course of two episodes with the cast of Wigs Club, it is giving me life. It is giving me life. We could have had it all. If we are going to have dumb earth misadventures with boring zombie pirates, at least try to make it fun instead of this, where it feels like things are just happening for no fucking reason. Ugh. So easy. It's so easy to work with this, but they just refuse to. In the legendarium world, the Winks found themselves bored. Anyway, zombie invasion. Oh god. I'm sorry, I cannot get over how hideous this ship is. Even the colors are just so ugly and muddied. Check it out. <laughs> Is it really that impressive that the hat is used like that? That sounds too crazy to believe. Oh, that's just fucking sad. What was that? Me at the new seasons of Winx Club. Why are the tricks the only effective people on this boat? What? G Pirates can just make flaming wheels? Oh, the momentum is so slow. Virtual protection! Water rising! Fire! Evergreen glow! Light snow! Such basic ass spells. I would just like to state for the record, if we remove this zombie pirate adventure, literally nothing of the season would change. Just let that sink in. This sinks. Wait, I could say that about most of these fucking misadventures of the season. I don't remember what I had to say. Me when I enter a room. El Tora? That's funny. How in the world do you have a story involving werewolves, zombie pirates, vampires, the Sphinx of Giza, mummies, all these things, and it's so boring? Season three. Mm. Season three deserves her flowers too. Like, she was never this boring. Season three was a fucking roller coaster. Don't overstay your welcome in the legendarium world, or you will become fictional characters forever. What was the point of adding that? Like, we never actually see that with any consequences ever. No one ever overstays their welcome and gets trapped in the legendarium world. They like, even bloom in the finale. The tricks, yeah, they do get stuck in the legendarium world, but then they, you know, escape through bullshit means the at the end of next season. I'm not spending eternity with these guys. The pixies have been stuck in the legendarium world for literally the entire season, and still Aisha manages to free them. Are you going to be stuck in the legendarium world forever? 
or not, because you cannot have both. And none of this, oh, the mythic's wands will be able to free you and your roots from the legendarium world. Because if so, then there would never be a threat for the wing skinning trap there. So why are they being reminded of this? And if you need someone else to free you and one of the wings gets stuck, couldn't another wings just go in and get her? Or Eldora go in and get them? Unless Eldora really is evil and she just, this is all the ploy to get them trapped in here forever. Which, I mean, they're stupid enough to fall for it. Or maybe Eldora is just lying about that whole thing to begin with. I don't know what she would have to gain from it, but I don't trust her. I've got it! The first MacGuffin. Behold, an ugly green rock. Woohoo! Oh, right, Bloom! Wow, she did it! Yes! Why did it have to be blue? Oh my fucking god. It's always Bloom. It's always Bloom, but Bloom is better than everyone else. I just... Okay, the first three seasons actually kind of called for Bloom being the most important of the bunch because, you know, it was her dragon flame that was driving the plot, her history of Domino that was driving the plot, and her connection to, like, all of the villains. And she still did not feel as important and bestest there as she does in these seasons that should have nothing to do with her. The sooner we get the second object, the better. In the meantime, we could all use a little post-pirate beach time. The universe is in danger, you say? This sounds like the perfect time for a party. I don't know why I said it like that. I love rest and relaxation and self-care as much as the next bitch. However, <laughs> however, I don't feel it was earned here. I don't. Whenever they rested in season three, it felt earned. It does not here. The Winks can take care of themselves. That's true. How does Thorin know that? Thorin, you don't know those girls. Unless you're also evil and have been keeping dabs on them. I'm sorry, I'm just, I'm trying to look for literally anything that could make the season more fucking engaging than wallpaper paste. You look the same. <laughs> oh, wow. Ooh, the shade, Daphne, the shade. Oh, Riven finally showed up. Okay, cool. Can you imagine he didn't show up because he was specifically waiting for Musa to go into the legendarium world so he didn't have to fucking see her? What an asshole. Riven is just the worst. Electric chip. What is it with Riven this season? Like, why is he just such an asshole? What the fuck? And he keeps flipping between asshole and non-asshole. Like last season, he was actually really good at like being a partner to Misa and being really nice. But this season, he's just trash again. And it's, it's like a light switch. You'll never have her. And why is that? Because I love you. I just can't even. I would absolutely love it if one of those seagulls stole the emerald. <laughs> I feel like that would be such a fun plot. Can you imagine for 24 minutes, the wings are chasing a goddamn seagull for the fucking emerald. And we know from the opening of season seven that Bloomix's one weakness is birds. Mm. I see, you're back. Try to contain your excitement, Selena. <laughs> Selena just just emptying their rooms and turning it into like her own fucking bachelorette pad. Selling all of their items on Goodwill. <laughs> like, oh yeah, the tricks recently passed away. It's a real shame. Anyway, the Whisperian Crystals go for um seventy dollars. <laughs> um, I had no idea. Selena girl, take a goddamn acting class. How did the tricks not see fucking through this immediately? Like, come on. Y'all are the masters of trickery and deception, and you couldn't realize that Selena was playing you? Oh my god. Idiots. Idiots. All of them. Every single one. Idiots! Imbeciles! Musa! Hey! Oh, now you show up, Riven. Oh, fucking asshole. I would have liked Musa last episode being like, sad that Riven didn't come along. You know, at least acknowledge the fact he's only showing up now. See if they can make Bloom walk the plank. I love how they're acting like the Legendarium is super useful when all it's done is fail time and time again. Wouldn't she just pull a Sora from Kingdom Hearts 1, jump, and then fly at the last second? It really flew. Wait till I tell Kyrie. I wonder if she'll believe me. Weather? Mm. Huh. A lot of Kingdom Hearts references today. There's only two of them, but it's weird that it happened in this one video. I can't wait to try one. I've heard they're amazing. You're gonna love it. You've heard everything, Daphne. You've heard everything. What a great way to celebrate Bloom finding the emerald. Check out Floor's growth spell. <laughs> We've been doing that, Aisha. I got this, Roy. Got it! 
Aisha supremacy. <laughs> Aisha gets with the island guy and tells Nex and Roy to take a hike. Nex and Roy start dating. Oh, look at those two. <laughs> okay, that this is cute. Bloom just being like, "Oh, Daphne's in love." Like it's it's precious. Although I am like, Musa really has been boiled down to just music, hasn't she? Oh my fucking god, she's just a walking jukebox at this goddamn point. I am so mad. Well, you know what? If she's gonna be a walking jukebox, does she take requests? Um, some suggestions. Um. Taylor Swift's Midnights, when it drops later this month. I'm so fucking excited. Demi Lovato's Holy Favuck. Yes, I call it Holy Favuck. That shit is good. That shit is real good. Put some Maisie Peters on. Lady Gaga. Any music I've been obsessed with. Ooh, Beyonce's Renaissance. Put some Renaissance on. Alien goddamn superstar, please. Pirate zombies, come out to play. Cause we came to play. The pointless pirates have arrived. Oh my God. Yeah, that's a CGI ship. And weirdly, it looks better here than it did in the Legendarium world. Oh, actually, you know what? I know why it looked better. Because it wasn't trying to be realistic. <laughs> it was trying to fit in with the vibe of 2D aesthetics and it looked light years better. Let this be a lesson, children. CGI, mm, it's done. It's done being realistic. We're done with that shit. Everyone, look at Spider-Verse and take notes, okay? Good. Daphne, nymph of Cyrenics. Cyrenics on land. Oh my fucking God. Just give Daphne a different form. Just give her Enchantix or her nymph form. It's something that isn't fucking Cyrenics. Actually, yeah, this is the first time ever where the Wings have had access to more than one form at a point because they only use Mythics when they go into the Legendarium world. And the rest of the time they use Blue Mix. And I appreciate that. Why is that not the standard for the rest of the goddamn show? Like last season, they could have, you know, used Cyrenix for the Infinite Ocean and then Harmonix the rest of the time. Or like they could keep all their forms and they just use Cyrenix whenever they go underwater. And then they have a default for land, which could be like Enchantix or Blue Mix. Maybe they use Believix when they go to Earth. In this season, though, I would not subscribe to that, though, because they go to Earth so goddamn much, we'd see more Believix than Bloomix. And no. I don't know. It's just like they should have a revolving set of transformations. Like, that would be so cool. And easy for doll sales because every form gets to stay relevant. Infinite Echo! <laughs> Infinite goddamn Echo. They really robbed you, Musa. They really robbed you. Help! Never fear for I- I got this. Oh, that's sweet. That's beautiful. But seriously though, Musa deserves more spells. Like her diapason, iconic. Why not just let her have spells based on musical instruments? Like she can summon a saxophone or a clarinet or a set of drums. Just summon that shit and wreck house with them. I am getting sick of these butterfly ladies. Sir, just wait until they get butterflies. You're gonna be real upset then. Me both that's Cover it with this! Aisha's attack was sponsored by Manscaped. <laughs> Miss me. What the fuck are those, those weird ass physics? For a second I was like, can the zombies fly? And I'm like, no, they're just flailing through the air. Oh my God, it's like that one sea serpent fight in Ruby Volume 4. Also a lot of Ruby shade today. I'm okay with that. <laughs> Try fighting without your soul. Well, I guess this is where Sky dies. Oh my God, that fucking boomerang. You know what? I really miss Riven's sword and his bolas. You know, like the weird um throwy things. I miss those. Those were way more unique than the fucking boomerang. Three zombies, total four. We have to protect the villagers, not challenge each other. I mean, that does make sense though. Riven would be the one to turn it into a goddamn competition. Well, old Riven would. I feel like at this point he should know better. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. Out this. Well, that was easy. Flora didn't even have to do anything. Good for her. After everything she's been through this season, Flora needs a fucking vacation. And not like a legendarium vacation. I mean like a vacation where she doesn't have to lift a goddamn finger. I just, I can't get over how pretty Bloomix is. I love it so much. <gasps> oh, Roy finally gets to shine to save his boyfriend. I'm, come on y'all. Come on y'all, we all know. Thanks, Nix. And nice moves. Oh, they're protecting each other. That other show wishes. <laughs> you know, you two make a pretty good team. See, Aisha knows. Aisha's on to it. Get away from me! Maybe try attacking the ship? If they're all spawning from the ship, burn it the fuck down. Dance of leaves! I feel like that should have taken out more zombies with how grand it's it felt. Way to go, Daphne! Bring it for us! 
There's only one way we're going to beat these zombie pirates. People of Calavera Island, we must work together. How do you know it immediately? What? Why is that your answer? What? What made you think that? Friendship flame! Oh god. Oh, for fuck's sake. Yeah, so cool. Shut up, everyone. You did it, Blue! Okay, I guess this doesn't bother me as much because, like, Bloom has shared her sparks of the dragon flame before. And it is kind of cool. Oh, look! It's the wings from Fate the Wing Saga, except they look good. <laughs> I, I know y'all want me to talk about Fate Season 2. Look, I just... I did. Season 2 was boring as shit. I will probably make a video on it on some point. I just have no desire to right now. The transformation sequences. The fact that they only get ugly CGI wings. Not even transformation outfits. I just, disgusting. <laughs> disgusting. And no, I'm still not over the fact that they just got rid of all the cool fashion and sci-fi shit. Like, they they made Winx. It doesn't feel like Winx. It feels like fucking Shadow Hunters. And not even good Shadow Hunters. Like, cheap-ass Shadow Hunters. Still wearing that mask from the surf club? Uh, Daphne the Shade. <laughs> The shade. And the winner gets served coconut smoothies for the rest of the day. I hope you're not thirsty, guys. Yeah, y'all are gonna be waiting on Aisha hand and foot as it should be. Go, Aisha! Shut up, Loom. You weren't even in frame. Oh, she demands to be relevant at all times. Using your friendship flame was a great idea. It brought us all together quite nicely today. I hate it. Musa really is a jukebox. Oh, this poor girl. Also, she looked so sad for a moment. I was like, did Riven refuse to party with you? Did he leave early because he was only here to fight zombies? And then nothing happened with it. So thanks, guys. When you go back to the Legendarium world, we'll be there waiting for you. Aw, Selena thinks she's threatening. That's cute. Okay, wow, I... Mm. I don't know how, but season six always manages to find a way to be more boring. <laughs> that was an experience, a completely pointless, trivial, nonsensical, unfun experience. I feel like I stared into the void and when it looked back, it sparkled and then I died. Everyone will die. I, mm, I'm telling you, I really would have preferred a Pirates of the Caribbean full parody with these Winx characters. I feel like that would have been infinitely superior. Ooh, yeah, and you can even like bring in like um, their mermaid forms from the comics. Fuck Sirenix, Aquatics. Get that shit in here. It writes itself. It could have had it all. It could have been glorious, but instead we got this shit. Ugh. And you know, it's funny. Um, as much as I throw that out there, these scenarios are not gonna be happening in the season six free, right? Because the, the whole story is so much different. I can't say everything, obviously, but I will say um, there is no Legendarium Key. There is no Fantasy Emerald. There is no uh, totem with the weird silver spear. There are no trips to Egypt or China or Calavera or Fearwood. Like, none of that. It is completely fucking different. And that's all I will say, because we deserve better than this trash. Anyway, um... I'm hungry, so I'm gonna go eat. Bye.